Mandriva Linux is a Linux distribution by Mandriva. It uses the RPM Package Manager. Each release lifetime is 18 months for base updates and 12 months for desktop updates. Server products receive full updates for at least five years after their release. The last release of Mandriva Linux was in August 2011. Most developers who were laid off went to Magia. In May 2015, Mandriva went into administration. As of the 27th of May the organization website was offline. History The first release was based on Red Hat Linux and K-Desktop Environment 1 in July 1998. It has since moved away from Red Hat's distribution and has become a completely separate distribution in its own right. Mandriva now includes a number of original tools, mostly to ease system configuration. Mandriva Linux is the brainchild of Gore L. Duval, who wanted to focus on ease of use for new users. This goal was met as Mandrake Linux gained a reputation as one of the easiest to install and user-friendly Linux distributions. At this time Internet Explorer held a dominant share of the web browser market, and Microsoft a near monopoly in operating systems. Web browsers for Linux were limited to Mozilla, followed by a variety of poorly performing Linux-specific browsers such as Kunkara or Galeen. Mandrake Linux earned praise as a Linux distribution that users could use all the time, without dual booting into Windows for compatibility with websites or software unavailable under Linux. Connect called the user experience of Mandrake Linux 8.0 the most polished available at that time. Duval became the co-founder of Mandrakeisoft, but was laid off from the company in 2006 along with many other employees. Equals name changes equals, from its inception until the release of version 8.0, Mandrake named its flagship distribution Linux Mandrake. From version 8.1 to 9.2 the distribution name was reversed and called Mandrake Linux. In February 2004, Mandrake Soft lost a court case against Hearst Corporation, owners of King Features Syndicate. Hearst contended that Mandrake Soft infringed upon King Features' trademarked character Mandrake the Magician. As a precaution, Mandrake Soft renamed its products by removing the space between the brand name and the product name and changing the first letter of the product name to lower case, thus creating one word. Starting from version 10.0, Mandrake Linux became known as Mandrake Linux, and its logo changed accordingly. Similarly, Mandrake Move became Mandrake Move. In April 2005, Mandrake Soft announced the corporate acquisition of Connectiva, a Brazilian-based company that produced a Linux distribution for Portuguese-speaking and Spanish-speaking Latin America. As a result of this acquisition and a legal dispute with Hearst Corporation, Mandrake Soft announced that the company was changing its name to Mandriva, and that their Linux distribution Mandrake Linux would henceforward be known as Mandriva Linux. Features The major features of Mandriva Linux are equals Installation, Control and Administration equals, Mandriva Linux contains the Mandriva Control Center, which eases configuration of some settings. It has many programs known as Drakes or Drax, collectively named Drak tools to configure many different settings. Examples include mouse drake to set up a mouse, disk drake to set up disk partitions and draw connect to set up a network connection. They are written using GTK Plus and Perl, and most of them can run in both graphical and text mode using the Curses interface. Equals desktops equals, the latest version of Mandriva Linux, 2011.0 officially supports only KDE Plasma desktop, whereas other desktop environments are available but not supported. Older Mandriva versions used Plasma Desktop as standard but others such as GNOME were also officially supported. Equals Package Manager equals. Mandriva Linux uses a package manager called Elpme, which functions as a wrapper to the RPM package management system. It is similar to Debian and Ubuntu's apt-get, Fedora and Red Hat's yum or OpenSUSE SUSE Zip and that it allows seamless installation of a given software package by automatically installing the other packages needed. It is also media transparent due to its ability to retrieve packages from various media, including network internet, CD DVD and local disk. ERPME also has an easy-to-use graphical front-end called RPMDRAKE, 
which is integrated into the MAND River Control Center. Equals live USB equals, a live USB of MAND River Linux can be created manually or with unit boot in. Availability, MAND River provides multiple editions of Linux. Some were freely distributable until 2012, while now they are only sold online and via a network of authorized resellers. Prior open source code of the old Mandriva Free was later forked into free derivatives like Magia and Open Mandriva LX. Versions From 2007 to Euro 2011, Mandriva was released on a six month fixed release cycle, similar to Ubuntu and Fedora. Equals latest version equals, the latest stable version is Mandriva Linux 2011, released on August 28, 2011. Equals development version equals, the development tree of Mandriva Linux has always been known as Kuka. This tree is directly released as a new stable version. Equals table of versions equals. Editions, each release of Mandriva Linux is split into several different editions. Each edition is derived from the same master tree, most of which is available on the public mirrors, all free slash open source software, and all non-free software which is under a license that allows unrestricted distribution to the general public, is available from the public mirrors. Only commercial software under a license that does not allow unrestricted distribution to the general public is not available from public mirrors. Equals current equals. All free Mandriva versions are now end of life and the open source code was forked into other, newer distributions such as Magia. Currently there are only non-free business and server editions available, including, Mandriva Class, Mandriva Business Server, Mandriva Cloud Pulse. Equals discontinued equals. Mandriva Linux Free, Mandriva Linux Free is a traditional distribution. It is free in both senses. It consists entirely of free and open source software, and it is made available for public download at no charge. It is usually available in CD and DVD editions for x86-32 and 64-bit CPU architectures. It is aimed at users to whom software freedom is important, and also at users who prefer a traditional installer to the installable live CD system used by one. The package selection is tailored towards regular desktop use. It consists of a subset of packages from the main and contrib sections of the master tree. Mandriva Linux 1 Mandriva Linux 1 is free to download. It is a hybrid, being both a live CD and an installer. Several Mandriva Linux 1 versions were provided for each Mandriva Linux release preceding Mandriva 2008. Users could choose between different languages. Select either the KDE or GNOME desktops and include or exclude non-free software. The lead version is the KDE version with non-free software included. The one images consist of a subset of packages from the main, contrib and non-free sections of the master tree, with the documentation file stripped from the packages to save space. Mandriva Linux 1 2008 has a smaller range of versions. There are KDE and GNOME versions with the default set of languages. There are also two KDE versions with alternative sets of languages. All versions include non-free software. Mandriva Linux Power Pack Mandriva Linux Power Pack is a traditional distribution. It is the main commercial edition of Mandriva Linux, and as such, requires payment for its use. It contains several non-free packages intended to add value for the end user including non-free drivers like the NVIDIA and ATI graphics card drivers, non-free firmware for wireless chips and modems, some browser plugins such as Java and Flash, and some full applications such as CDGA, Adobe Reader and Real Player. It is sold directly from the Mandriva Store website and through authorized resellers. It is also made available via a subscription service, which allows unlimited downloads of PowerPack editions for the last few Mandriva releases for a set yearly fee. It consists of a subset of packages from the main, contrib, non-free and restricted sections of the master tree. In Mandriva Linux 2008, the Discovery and PowerPack Plus editions have been merged into PowerPack, which will become Mandriva's only commercial offering. Users will be able to choose between a novice-friendly discovery-like setup or an installation process and desktop aimed at power users. Mandriva Linux Discovery 
Mandriva Linux Discovery was a commercial distribution aimed at first-time and novice Linux users. It was sold via the Mandriva Store website and authorized resellers, or could be downloaded by some subscribers to the Mandriva Club. Mandriva Linux 2008 does not include a Discovery Edition, having added optional novice-friendly features to the PowerPack Edition. In releases prior to Mandriva Linux 2007, Discovery was a traditional distribution built on the DRAC-X installer. In Mandriva Linux 2007 and 2007 Spring, Discovery is a hybrid live DVD, which can be booted without installation or installed to hard disk in the traditional manner. Discovery was a DVD rather than a CD, allowing all languages to be provided on one disk. It consisted of a subset of packages from the main, contrib, non-free and non-free restricted sections of the master tree. The package selection was tailored towards novice desktop users. A theme chosen to be appealing to novice users was used, and the simplified menu layout in which applications are described rather than named and not all applications are included was the default. Mandriva Linux PowerPack Plus Mandriva Linux PowerPack Plus was a version of PowerPack with additional packages, mostly commercial software. Like PowerPack, it was sold directly from the Mandriva Store website and through authorized resellers. It was also a free download for Mandriva Club members of the Gold level and above. PowerPack Plus was aimed at Soho users, with the expectation that it could be used to run a small home or office server machine as well as desktop and development workstations. The package selection was tailored with this in mind, including a wide range of server packages. It consisted of a subset of packages from the main, contrib, non-free and restricted sections of the master tree. Mandriva 2008 no longer includes a PowerPack Plus edition. Instead, the PowerPack edition includes all the available packages. Derivatives Derivatives are distributions that are based on Mandriva Linux, some by Mandriva itself, others by independent projects. Some maintain compatibility with Mandriva Linux, so that installing a Mandriva Linux RPM also works on the offspring. Equals current equals Mandriva Business Server 1, Mandriva Enterprise Server 5, Open Mandriva LX a fork of Rosa Linux, Magia a fork of Mandriva, Linux OS initially derived from Mandrake, Unity Linux Mandriva based distribution. Equals discontinued equals. Mandriva Flash, Mandriva Flash is a pre-installed Mandriva Linux distribution on an 8 GB USB key. The user can choose how much space is used for system files and how much is reserved for user files. An earlier version of Mandriva Flash was 4 GB and before that 2 GB in size with fixed ratios. It can be booted directly from the key on systems that support booting from USB devices, or from a Kickstart CD on systems that do not. Flash runs faster than live CDs due to the relative speed of flash memory, and the read-write nature of the medium allows users to save files, configuration options and even to install new packages. Mandriva Corporate Server Mandriva Corporate Server is a distribution specifically tailored for enterprise-level general-purpose server usage. Development is started from the basis of a previous Mandriva Linux release, with the package selection altered, important packages updated, certain extra configuration tools and applications added, and some extra support for enterprise-level hardware. The maintenance lifetime of each release is five years. The current release of Corporate Server is 4.0. Mandriva Corporate Desktop Mandriva Corporate Desktop is the desktop counterpart to Corporate Server. Again it is based on a Mandriva Linux release with enterprise-specific modifications and a five-year maintenance lifetime. The current release of Corporate Desktop is 4.0. Multi-Network Firewall Linux Mandrake 7.2 had a version tailored specifically for use as a firewall, known as Single Network Firewall. Its successor, based on Mandrake 8.2, was titled Multi Network Firewall. The third iteration is named MNF2 and is based upon Mandrake Linux 10.0. These firewall distributions are designed to provide security for computer networks, and can be administered remotely via a browser based interface or secure shell. MNF2 is now counted as part of the corporate product line and can only be bought, with support, from Mandriva. 
Globetrotter. Globetrotter is a lacy mobile USB drive loaded with a specific version of Mandriva Linux. Like Move, it can boot most PCs into Linux without installing first. The 40GB hard drive makes it a convenient way to carry a Linux workstation around. Globetrotter was launched in August 2003 and could be ordered through Mandriva's online store. CLIC, CLIC is a dedicated version of Mandrake Linux created by Mandrake Soft specifically for clustering environments. It was sponsored by the RNTL, other partners were IDIMAG, Group Bull and Mandrake Soft. This project's aim was to produce HPC Linux distribution for 32 and 64-bit processors. The objective of Project CLIC was to allow the realization of large scientific computers while being based on free software. The objective consists of the realization of Linux distribution for clusters of machines, meeting the needs for deployment, administration and programming of clusters within the framework of exploitation for intensive calculation. It features an automated installation of a full cluster using the CAR tools, ERPME and the cluster scripts. This project was finished on December 1, 2003 and Mandrake Soft decided to continue the project with a product called Mandrake Linux Clustering. This product included Drake Cluster for improved usability. It was dedicated to the HPC market but it could also be used to all kinds of clusters. It features parallel commands, deployment, software upgrade downgrade, monitoring, etc. Clustering was available on x86 and x86-64 architectures. Mandrake Move, a live move is the set formed by a live CD and a boot floppy or USB flash drive. Mandrake Move was a Mandriva product that benefits from a Mandrake Linux live CD which doesn't need to be installed to run on a computer, and a USB key that automatically records bootloader, hardware configuration and personal data. The first version of Mandrake Move was released in December 2003. It brought two main innovations compared to competitors, ability to eject the CD if the machine has 256 megabytes of RAM or more. Without the CD present, the OS is limited to playing multimedia files. Transparent save of any user modification of his her own files and system configuration files, if operated with a USB key, the second version, now simply called Move, was released in October 2004. Hardware support and stability have seen much improvement. Move is now superseded by Mandriva 1 and Mandriva Flash. References External links, Mandriva Linux at DistroWatch